Alright you guys, uh, this is your boy um, with another ChatGTP video. I will maybe um, later on, uh, when it gets warmer, start making motorcycle videos again, but right now it's... Uh, I don't really want to spend the money and I don't want to be uh, doing that. But anyway, so for those of you who did subscribe for that, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'll eventually get back to it probably. Or start making uh, uh, videos about mechanical stuff from VR. Uh, there's a game called Wrench that uh, create um, where you can work on a car. It's like hyper realistic as far as video games go, and I might uh, might start doing that or something. Just because uh, working on real vehicles is uh, really expensive, and so you know, so yeah, not doing that anyway. ChatGTP, uh, I did get it to write a game in the version of basic that uh, I wanted and it's a really simple choose your own adventure game uh, where you just choose paths and uh, yeah it's amazing uh, the fact that I was able to write I mean it's hyper simple but it, it is something more than anything I've ever been able to get it to do so I'm gonna sort of write it out and talk about it um, sort of explain the code or whatever but yeah if uh, ChatGTP can um, start making games or like functions within games. I can teach, I can teach really well, I think. But uh, we'll see. Simple, so this is just a statement. Sometimes it doesn't know. This rem statement cannot be too long. It will give you a, a really, really long one that will have a syntax error once it goes into line three. So it's just printing, welcome to the text. Uh, text-based adventure. Uh, I don't like text-based adventure. I don't like. And then print is just another space to give things a little room to breathe. So thirty. All right, print. You find yourself standing at a fork in a forest path. Forty. Print. Just more, just printing more statements, I guess. But yeah, I, I did get this game to work. I, it, it had no, it had no syntax errors except for the ones I made. So that's actually a huge, huge improvement. Whereas before, we just use parts of languages that aren't just compatible with what I'm doing. And I think this version of Basic is called General Purpose Basic. I'm not sure, but um, if you give it enough sample code, it, I think it um, can do it accurately after that. You just have to give it a nice big block of, hey, use this kind of code, and then it'll do it correctly, uh, from my experience. So far. There are two paths, one, two, the, okay, so what are we doing? There are so many symbols that I would never ever touch on a keyboard before doing this that are just hard to find, because I'm, I never ever had, Need, needed to use any of these dashes and marks for all these things that it's it's actually like slowing me down to the point where I, I cannot type um, quick not that I ever could really type quickly but um, I probably got a little bit faster within the last few weeks just doing this but okay print one take uh, path left so we're being offered different paths. Uh, there are two paths, one to left and one to the right. Print one. So print one, take, path left. Print two, take the right path. So let's see if that's what it says. Yeah, 70. This is where the code starts. Well, I guess that before that is code two, but this is actual input. Enter your choice one or two so this is input is an input function this is the tech enter your choice one uh, one or two is the uh, what is what we're going to see as the person and then and then choice one is the variable choice choice one is the variable. <clears throat> okay, then we have an if statement. If 
choice one. So we save choice one. Uh, so in line 70, choice one is a variable. So whatever I put one or two, that's stored now in choice one. So now we go to line 80, choice one that either has one or two stored in it. Stored in it. Um, equals one. Uh, choice one. So if it's one, if choice one equals one, then uh, then go to a hundred. If, however, choice one equals two, if we had entered two, then go to 200. Perfect, right? I think I, did, I, I don't think I made mistakes, but. So state, uh, just a statement for us, just a note, left path. So let this, this is for the, what we're about to do, we'll describe if we go down the left path, which is if we press one, right? Yeah, per, one would would have been left path. Okay, one ten. Print. Okay, so if if we had pressed, if we went left, that's the note that would come up for us, and then one twenty. There's more print for us to read. One twenty. There's a bridge. Dash. So these are the uh, so these are now be, we're off we're just uh, offering the person playing the game these options cross the bridge. Uh, actually, I think I heard. Oh no, I didn't. Never mind. Um, so Summer. So these are the options that are being offered. That 150 input is an input, which stores in it a variable choice two. So not to be confused with choice one. I wonder if it could be reused. I wonder if choice one could just be reused and just override it for later. Or uh, I don't know if that would go. I don't know if that would be conflicting or not. Yeah, could you could not trick me into playing a game like this uh, in the past? Not possible. But uh, you you could not trick me into playing a game like this when I was younger. Now I see the value in it. But um, because I'm just I just I realized at a certain point that graphics don't matter. But now I realize they actually really don't matter. Um, uh, and that was proven to me initially by Minecraft, but then but then it was proven to me further by uh, some good choose your own adventure kind of text games. Um, like and I, I'm not I'm not even kidding. I really do believe that that like graphics like they're just kind of overrated and they it, it does sort of wear away eventually. Whatever. I don't know where I was going with all that, but you get what I'm saying. There, there, there will probably first time you launch one of these games, you will probably have a syntax error. Um. So yeah, so this just give this just goes down further. So two fifty. Uh, you enter the so input. You input you enter the choice one or two, variable choice three. So I guess it looks like we do have to differentiate the choices. You can't just reuse choice one and have it be just overwritten for later um, code. Or maybe you can. I don't know. Who knows? I haven't tried it. Three equals one. Then go to five hundred. Two seventy. If is three equals two, then go to six hundred. So this is if he had chosen the other path, the the, the left path. So four hundred rem left path swim across the river. This is a statement for us for ten. Or we tried. Uh, you try to swim across the river, but the current was too strong. Unfortunate. So there's the bad ending. Okay. So uh, I, I know I uh, said I played it before. I guess I never saw. Unfortunately, you were swept away. But there were, I never actually went down the path, and I was must have been typing and like zoned out completely. Now I'm finding out there is an actual an actual way to die, which is left path. Okay. So um, for twenty, unfortunately, you. All right, so we're coming to an end here. 
of typing and then 720 and okay so I wrote the program out and now we're gonna try and attempt to play it all right so run enter so welcome to the text-based adventure you find yourself standing at a fork in a forest path uh, at a fork in a forest path there are two paths one to the left and one to the right I could have swore I was trying to avoid this kind of space thing where it goes uh, when it transfers one word and cuts it up one to the right uh, take the left path take the right path so we're in a forest right so this is the game we're in it we're in we're in the game right now uh, at a for we're in a forest and we need to decide to go left or right so I'm gonna go left path one enter uh, you took the left path and encountered a river there's a bridge to cross the river cross the bridge swim across the river. like why would I not cross the bridge oh, why would I not use the bridge right so I'm gonna go one cross the bridge you decided uh, you crossed the bridge and found a beautiful meadow. You decided to rest there and enjoy a peaceful scenery. Congratulations, you've reached a happy ending. Thanks for playing. So that's the uh, that's that option. So okay, awesome. Run again. Uh, welcome to the text-based adventure. Welcome to the okay. You find yourself standing at a fork in a forest path. There are two paths: one uh, one to the left and one to the right. Let's take. Uh, we'll, we'll go left again. Now we're gonna go, there's a bridge to cross the river, cross, uh, cross the bridge, so I'm gonna go swim across the river, right? Uh, you tried to swim across the river, but the current was too strong. Unfortunately, you were swept away by the river. Thanks for playing. So that's the bad app option. So run, uh, find, uh, you find yourself standing at a fork in the forest path. So let's go to take the right path, right? We did the ones. There's a torch on the wall. Take the torch and enter the cave. Continue without entering the cave. So we're going to go take a torch, enter the cave this time. Uh, inside you found a treasure chest full of gold and gems. Congratulations, you've discovered a hidden, hidden treasure. Thanks for playing. So we're rich, right? So let's run that again. <coughs> so we're in the forest. Let's take the right path. Uh, take the torch. Continue uh, without entering the cave. Let's continue without entering the cave. Uh, congratulations, you found your way out of the forest. Uh, congratulations, you've completed uh, your journey. Uh, so eventually, I guess, eventually just find a way out. Um, so yeah, that's the game. I beat it in its entirety just now in front of you. And not only that, we've completed all versions of the game that was possible. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, Chat GCP winning finally and writing an actual game. Uh, in basic uh it's a text-based adventure so it's not super exciting right but um this is kind of where i need to be because i'm just like learning so i love this by the way like i really do love this whole thing and i'm gonna keep keep doing it and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video also and goodbye